I found a love for me Darling, just dive right in Follow my lead I found a girl Beautiful and sweet I never knew you were the someone waiting for me kids when we fell in love not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time but darling just kiss me slow Your heart From the earliest of times men and women have sought to unify their individual lives through the security of marriage hopes Dreams and aspirations are brought together on a wedding day to be shared and developed in order that the lives of both partners may be best fulfilled. Today we see Joshua and Chelsea take what is a decisive and a momentous step. A step that will bring its challenges, triumphs, consolations, but also rewards. Ladies and gentlemen, Joshua and Chelsea, would like to thank you all for coming here today to celebrate the beginning of their new life together. It means a great deal to them that you can be here to share their special day and witness their marriage vows. They have found in each other love and happiness and now wish to affirm their relationship. Ladies and gentlemen, you are here. You are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Joshua Ian Austin Buchanan Clark and Chelsea Louise Helen Everett. If any person knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. That's good, it means we can all carry on. <laughs> Joshua and Chelsea, before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and the binding character of the vows that you are both about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. It is also a solemn union to provide the love, friendship, help, comfort, but also support that each ought to have for the other, both in times of joy, but also in times of difficulty. Not to be entered into lightly, nor lightly put to one side. I am going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you are in fact free to marry. And the good news for you, Chelsea, is we are going to ask Joshua to make this declaration first. <laughs> so Joshua, could you first of all state your full name, please? Joshua Ian Austin Buchanan Clark. And if you can repeat this declaration after me, please. Yes. At least he's getting it right. Yeah. We've got to get it right in a short time. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Joshua Ian Austin Buchanan Clark. Why I, Joshua Ian Austin Buchanan Clark. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Chelsea Louise Helen Everett. To Chelsea Louise Helen Everett. And now your turn, Chelsea. Can you please, first of all, state your full name, please? Uh, Chelsea Louise Helen Everett. And can you also make the same declaration that Joshua has just made and repeat these words after myself? I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any unlawful impediment. Why I, Chelsea Louise Helen Everett. Why I, Chelsea Louise Helen Everett. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Joshua Ian Austin Buchanan Clark. To Joshua Ian Austin Buchanan Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, Joshua and Chelsea are about to make their statutory vows to each other, so if I can ask those that are able to please stand. Yeah. 
I've asked you, Joshua, to take Chelsea's hands in yours as you make your statutory vows. So once again, if you can lead the way and repeat these words after me. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Joshua Ian Austin Buchanan Clark. To witness that I, Joshua Ian Austin Buchanan Clark. Do take thee, Chelsea Louise Helen Everett. Do take thee, Chelsea Louise Helen Everett. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. In your turn, Chelsea, to make the same promise. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Chelsea Louise Helen Everett. To witness that I, Chelsea Louise Helen Everett. Do take thee, Joshua Ian Austin Buchanan Clark. Do take thee, Joshua Ian Austin Buchanan Clark. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. If I can ask the guests to please be seated. Now Joshua, Ian and Ian have also chosen to make very personal vows to each other. And I'm going to ask each of them in turn to declare these, this personal vow to each other. Do I go first, Jim? <laughs> I promise to give you the best of myself and ask no more than you can give. I promise to respect you as your own person and to accept that your interests, desires and needs are no less important than my own. I promise to share with you my time and my attention and to bring joy, strength, and imagination to our relationship. I promise to keep myself upon to you, open to you, <laughs> <laughs> to let you see through the windows of my world into my innermost fears and feelings, secrets and dreams. I promise to grow old along with you, and to be willing to face changes in order to keep our relationship alive and exciting. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, with all I have to give and all that I feel inside in the only way now I know how, completely and forever. It is also a part of a long tradition in this country and in many other parts of the world that the marriage contract is sealed by the giving and the receiving of rings. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and it has no end. It, it symbolises an unending and everlasting love and is an outward sign of the promises that you have just made to each other here today. Now, I understand Louis has some rings, fingers crossed. So if I can ask you to take a step forward and if you can pop each of those rings Okay, we've got one. Yes, yeah, we've got two. You can just stand just there. Okay, Joshua, if you can take Chelsea's ring and put that on the third finger of her left hand, about halfway down, and hold it just there. I'm going to ask you to make this promise and repeat these words after me. Chelsea, I give you this ring. Chelsea, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. Trust and commitment. Trust and commitment. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. Above all others. Above all others. To give you my love, friendship and support. To give you my love, friendship and support. And to respect and cherish you. And to respect and cherish you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. Move it all the way on. It's about, yeah. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. I'll make sure it went on. Right, Chelsea, if you can Joshua's ring, put it on the corresponding third finger of his left hand, halfway down and hold just there. I'm going to ask you to make your promise to Ryan, to um, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Let's don't make it. It's all these names. Okay, Chelsea, if you can say, Joshua, I give you this ring. Joshua, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a token of my love. And a as a token of our love. I promise I will respect you. I promise I will respect you. As an individual. As an individual. Support you through difficult times. Support you through difficult times. Rejoice with you through happy times. Rejoice with you through happy times. Be loyal always. Be loyal always. And above all. And above all. Love you as my husband and friend. Love you as my husband and my friend. Okay, and there's a ring on all the way up. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, Liz. Joshua and Chelsea, you have both made the declarations required by law. You have made solemn promises and a binding contract to each other 
in the presence of your family and friends gathered here today. Today is the start of a new life for you both together. And we hope that the feeling of love that you so obviously have for each other will deepen and strengthen and grow throughout the years to come. It gives me great pleasure that it is an honour and a privilege to declare that you are now husband and wife. And a big round of applause. My little girl who just got married to the wonderful Josh. Hey. You both look amazing. As does the bride's face and of course you wonderful people. <laughs> well, from the day Chelsea was born and she first smiled at me with a beautiful <laughs> smile and a big brown eyes, she stole my heart. <laughs> she was a great kid, never gave us any problems. She was smart, funny and of course she wrapped Daddy around her little finger. <laughs> <laughs> Helen was never worried when we went anywhere, as she knew I'd be watching Chelsea like a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> never let her out of my sight. <laughs> Apart from one time when we was in Stevenage, <laughs> or St Evanage to Shelley. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me the slip, and uh, then the second I could not see her, Panic setting until Helen spotted her outside the shop, and of course, you know, she was like, There's no big deal, Dad. You're 23. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was four. She was four. <laughs> but every day, that still gives me nine years. Uh, all Chelsea could say, but anyway, don't worry about it. Anyway. <laughs> I'd love to tell you about the Beauty and the Beast video, but I wouldn't get through that, so <laughs> skip that. Anyway, as Chelsea grew to this beautiful young lady, and she joined Highfield School, that's where she first met Joshua, this wonderful young man. And of course they started dating. <laughs> <laughs> we would get fleeting visits, and uh, Josh was very quiet and shy. Mm -hmm. That was until Josh started up with his band Blonde Louie. <laughs> <laughs> and we saw a, a very different side to him. <laughs> this confident, talented boy, and we were blown away. Mm -hmm. As Josh got to know us better and was more confident around us, that was when Josh and I found common ground. Football. <laughs> <laughs> Josh being <laughs> Arsenal. Uh, <laughs> and me being Chelsea. <laughs> and so the heated the debate <laughs> began. In the time, time Josh and I got to know each other, Chelsea FC was on hold, but the upper hand over Arsenal. <laughs> but Josh could easily put me in my place by asking his wife to recite the entire Arsenal squad and their birthdays, <laughs> to which Chelsea would. That was the day I knew Josh had won her heart. <laughs> Can you still do that? Not. After leaving school, Chelsea moved in with Josh's family, Ian and Annabelle and the boys. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Ian, Annabelle, Lewis, Georgian and Noah for taking care of Chelsea. Oh, that's that's right. Right. It's been our pleasure. Chelsea Although Chelsea moved out, she would still pop home daily or semi-daily. <laughs> uh, 
if she was not home, we would know Chelsea had been home, and it would look like we'd be burgled. <laughs> <laughs> She'd ring her mum almost every day. She would sometimes ring me and say, Hi, Dad, where's mum? <laughs> or, Hi, Dad, uh, are you up? <laughs> oh, I did a lift home. <laughs> Well, that's me about done, and until now, and now I'm going to hand over to the best man, Lewis. So please, everyone, enjoy the rest of the day. Love and peace. <laughs> Lewis. So now I'm going to hand over to the main man of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for the crew. Yeah, Got yeah, in. Well Joshua Clark. <laughs> okay, firstly, I'd like to thank my brand new, shiny, new ish father in law <laughs> for his beautiful words and wishes and for upsetting Chelsea on the way. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be making some uh, toast, so take it easy on a Prosecco. Um, sips, not gulps, you're at Willing, for God's sake. I'll start by welcoming all of our gorgeous guests, or rabble. Um, it makes me happy beyond words to stand here and say, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, my beautiful wife, and I would like to welcome you to our wedding. We are so happy to see all of you here. Um, uh, I've lost myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. It means so much, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't be the same without you all here, so the, ter the first toast goes to you, <laughs> to everyone. Cheers! I want to um, thank Chelsea's mum and dad, Helen and Mick, and their handsome son, Curtis, <laughs> for uh, welcoming me into their fantastic-ish family. Uh, <laughs> they treated me uh, like a member of the family from day one. Well. Uh, Helen and Mick did. Curtis was convinced I was gay for a long time. Um, he still does, I think, uh, particularly after what happened in the SAG uh, in Munich. Um, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, I am, I'm so happy and honoured to now officially be part of their family. I remember going round to ask them for permission to marry Chelsea. Um, and being so excited to ask them, not only because of my love for their daughter, but uh, for the fact that I would be able to forever call them mother and father-in-law. So, Aww. yeah. Um, but before you get too happy, Mick, just remember that your grandkids are going to be Arsenal fans. <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> sorry about that, Mick. I have to thank my wonderful parents, Annabelle and Ian for raising such a handsome, intelligent, talented, and modest young man in myself. <coughs> in all seriousness, no, mum and dad have supported me through everything I've ever done, and they've given me every opportunity I could to ask for, no matter what it was I wanted to do. Uh, my childhood is filled with the most amazing memories, um, and that's all thanks to the wonderful home and the plethora of love they gave to me, the boys, and now Chelsea. Um, you may notice that all of my brothers uh, are ushers today, and it's not because I have no friends. <laughs> uh, it's because genuinely they are my favourite people. Um, and I think it's a testament to mum and dad that I never felt I had to go anywhere else because um, I had everything I needed at home. Um, though now I have no friends. So <laughs> Um, seriously, I do want to thank them all for, uh, for their support and hard work, long hours in making today what it is. Uh, you have no idea how proud I am to be your son. Um, so, Mum, you look lovely, and Ian, um, <laughs> to the best parents in the world. All right, the bridesmaids, you all look absolutely beautiful today. 
Um, although I did write this speech before I saw you. Um, <laughs> so I was jumping the gun a bit, but I got lucky. So, yeah. Thank you for being there for Chelsea and giving her a great send off at her hen do. Um, she hasn't stopped going on about it since she got back, so thanks very much for that. Um, a special thank to Lauren, thank you to Lauren, uh, Chief Bridesmaid, and uh, Geraldine as well, who really have gone above and beyond to make today happen. You've made it so easy for Chelsea and taken all the stress off her shoulders. So a toast, please, to the bridesmaid. The bridesmaid. Okay, rattling through them. On to the lads, ushers. Um, where do I start? Stagdu in Munich. It was it was great. Um, things happened. Some things happened twice, didn't they, Dave? <laughs> um, <laughs> we actually had a really cultural visit, by the way. We went to some beautiful Gothic Munich churches. We climbed that church bell tower thingy and uh, generally improved the German perception of the British public, I feel. <laughs> uh, but they didn't whack, uh, react well to my budget later, Hosen. Um, special thanks to Cla Captain Clipboard himself, Ollie Wright, for getting us to the hotel. Um, that was good because Lewis got us lost, by the way. Uh, yeah. And that brings me on to my best man, best friend, and brother from the same mother, Lewis. <laughs> Lewis has been my brother for as long as I can remember. <laughs> More importantly, he's been my best friend. We make each other laugh even when no one else laughs, which really doesn't bode well for Lewis's speech. <laughs> um, I don't get to see Lewis as much as I'd like, but that's life. Um, when we're together, we have the best time, uh, and I really do cherish those moments. Um, I want to say thank you for all you've done for the wedding, Lewis. Lewis has been my substitute all week, uh, and he's played a huge part in organising all of this and making everything happen. Um, he's much better at that than me, so that's fine. Um, and of course, the stag do, how you managed to get all of us on one flight there and back is an absolute miracle, so thank you for the best week, one of the best weekends of my life. Um, so yeah, everyone, Please, uh, even though you did take us to the wrong hotel, I've got to say it. Everyone, please raise a toast to the main man, best man, Woo! Lewis. Yeah. Did I mention he took us to the wrong hotel? Mm -hmm. A few special thank yous to Larry for the wonderful cake that you see over there. Um, your time and effort, Larry, is so, so appreciated by me, Chelsea, so thank you so much. Um, to Ian for the table names that you see around you and all the print, um, which is no easy feat to organise. So thank you, Ian. Thank you, Papa. It says on my speech as an order. That's weird. And to Chelsea's dad, Mick, who actually built from scratch like nearly everything you see around you, even Chelsea. Yeah. Um, amazing effort, Mick. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, finally, I want to thank my stunning wife. Um, you look like an absolute dream today. <laughs> and I know I have to say that, but it's so true. And I'm pinching myself, to be honest. I get to spend the rest of my life with you. Um, I know one person who would agree, but sadly misses today, is Maggie Harvey. Uh, Chelsea's nan was such a huge part of our relationship. Um, she made us laugh hysterically. Uh, and in turn, we would feed her scratch card addiction. <laughs> um, we miss you, Nanny Harvey. Charles, I don't know what I've done to deserve you, but I'm glad I did it. Chelsea is the most loving, generous, kind-hearted, selfless person I know, and she can sure throw a punch. Um, I've certainly learned the latter over the last 18 months, for sure. Anyone who knows Chelsea will also know that she's put a heart and soul um, into making today what it is. Uh, she's worked tirelessly to pull this off, so well done, my darling. Um, seriously though, she would do anything for anyone. All she loves to do is make other people happy, and it's my job now <laughs> sorry, to make her as happy as she makes everybody else. Um, I feel so lucky to have finally tied this beautiful lady down. Not physically tied down, just, <laughs> just legally. <laughs> It makes a change for me to the time down each time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, now to read my final toast. It makes me unbelievably psyched uh, to say, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful wife, thank you. I'll hand you back to Lewis now. Let's go. 
So, uh, yeah, that is that's for me, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just start my speech, why not? Uh, hello, everybody. For those of you who don't know me yet, uh, my name is Lewis, not Louie. <laughs> uh, I'm Josh's younger brother and apparently the best man. Now, I'd start, like to start by uh, raising a toast. For fuck's sake. Yes, Lewis! Thank you, Patreon team. I've left that at home. <laughs> um, now, I'm sure I don't need to tell you how nerve wracking it is delivering this speech, so I prepared a few lines, lines earlier to uh, calm my nerves. And uh, now they've kicked in, I feel much better. <laughs> I'm joking, Brown. <laughs> now, before I get on to the speech, I just want to reiterate what Josh said about uh, all of the wonderful bridesmaids who've done a fantastic job and look absolutely beautiful. I actually overheard them earlier about which one got to dance with me first. <laughs> um, and ladies, um, one of you's gonna have to do it, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Chelsea, you're the only person who looks more beautiful than the bridesmaids today. Uh, I'm sure everyone will agree with me when I say that you look absolutely stunning today. And uh, Josh, you could have at least shaved. <laughs> I remember when I first met Chelsea, actually, it was my birthday, uh, like my 12th or 13th birthday, something like that. She came with Josh, I turned around with a big smile, she said, hi, happy birthday, and then she went upstairs with Josh for the rest of the evening. Draw <laughs> <laughs> from that what you will. <laughs> and so the epic battle for my brother's attention began. <laughs> Josh has spent, since spent many years carefully deciding between watching South Park with me or accompanying Chelsea to bed, uh, <laughs> playing FIFA with me or walking with the dogs with Chelsea, a battle which I've had my fair share of wins in. Um, <laughs> then I remember Josh telling me whilst in an epic FIFA session, probably around six in the morning to keep Chelsea happy, um, that he was going to propose. And I was absolutely over the moon. Because even though it probably meant that I would end up watching South Park all by myself, <laughs> or do the individual career on FIFA, or God forbid, play with Noah. <laughs> we were finally getting a wonderful addition to our family. Uh, Chels, we've always loved you. Uh, you're one of the kindest, sweetest, most hard-working people that I have ever met. And you make Josh happier than any of us ever could. <laughs> And even though we've always thought it, we can now legally say, Chels, you're the sister we never had. Aww. So why not? Let's go to Chels. Yeah. 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 It's not a speech, but why not? You can drink to yourself. <laughs> and now I'm going to go on to Josh. <laughs> now, I've had a lot of worries about writing this speech, so I asked a few people for some words that they would use to describe it. Oh, uh, kind, <laughs> generous, Loving and compassionate are four words that nobody used to describe <laughs> Instead, I got lazy, stupid, selfish. And at first, I thought that was a bit harsh, but then I suppose no one knows you better than your own mother. <laughs> but no, it's more about Josh and I now. Uh, we met in the early 90s, somewhere. Like <laughs> now, being Josh's younger brother, I've always looked up to him. For instance, I was looking up to him the day he kicked me in the face while we were on the climbing frame. I'm still scarred from that. Uh, I was looking up to him the day he kicked me off the trampoline and our father had just trimmed the bushes. I'm still scarred from that. And I was looking up to him the day he streaked up a hill to our villa in Corfu. I'm still scarred from that. <laughs> We've had many memories together, too many to speak about today, unfortunately. So I'm just going to pick out the highlights uh, of our time as well. First on the list is our new performance of Green's Lightning. Oh, God, yeah. When we were five, I might add, not last week. Um, which our parents sat through and they foolishly asked for more. So we gave them, you're the one that I want as well. Needless to say, we nailed it. <laughs> uh, also, our one on one football matches that took place in the garden and must have gone on for hours on end. Uh, then, after a couple of years, John was fat enough that we could just hit him and go. It was impossible to score past. It was very true. It was a great 
Rich. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then there was a time where Josh, Chelsea, and I nearly got arrested for allegedly stealing a hundred pounds from an old woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is so we were innocent. But she persisted to ram the trolley into our car. Yeah. Uh, there was a time that someone actually bought mine and Josh's pantomime script, Hercules. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you're actually looking at two published writers. So I have no idea what the speeches are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and as recently as March in Munich on the stag do, where you thought it would be funny to beat me up while I was passed out. <laughs> yeah, I still managed to slap you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, brotherly love is literally nothing like it. <laughs> now, I know it's my job as the best man to tell you some embarrassing things that Josh has done over the years. Uh, it's, 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 just, it's such a wonderful occasion for Josh. I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> so Josh, don't worry. I'm not going to tell everyone about the time <laughs> that you got so drunk you projectile vomited on the train to such an extent the police made you get off. <laughs> Bring I'm cherry not, in there as well. Yeah, and cherry, actually. Right there. No uh, I'm not going to reveal how you once got up in the middle of the night, walked over to the full length mirror in Chelsea's room, no believe you on your own feet. <laughs> <laughs> and I am definitely not. Going to bring up the time, everyone, uh, about the time that you dyed your hair blonde, it ended up ginger, you cried, and for the next month, mum spent half an hour every morning putting a scar on your hair. So <laughs> <you're doing all laughs> <right. laughs> <laughs> the secret cessation. <laughs> 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 20 years, but I mean. I, I wouldn't that change any moment that Josh and I have spent together. In fact, the only way I would change it is if we could have more of them. Uh, those of you who know us four brothers know that we never speak nicely, nicely about each other uh, or show any emotion. In fact, when Josh asked me to be his best fan on Christmas Day, Chelsea had the force us to hug. <laughs> <laughs> but today, I have no shame in telling you that Josh is the best big brother that Jordan, Noah, or I could ever wish for, and we love you, bro. Thank you. Now, let's talk about Josh and Chelsea as a couple. Two people who are so inseparable, it's actually ridiculous. Um, I know this morning would have been very stressful for them both, not because they could, not because they had so much to do, but because they simply couldn't see each other until three o'clock. In all seriousness, though, their relationship is truly one in a million. I know that everyone here will agree with me when I say they were quite literally born for each other. To not only bear witness to their love today, but also to be asked to speak about it is uh, truly a great honour for me. As a uh, guy who's been single throughout most of my life, I'm really cool. I'm me today. <laughs> I look around this room and I see so many incredible couples, literally from our grandparents to our parents, right down to our two younger brothers. But more than most, I look at the two people in the middle of this table. I look at you and I see true love. It gives me a feeling of great envy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys make it look effortless. And to me, who has struggled to find anything close to that, it's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but it also gives me a feeling of true happiness and joy because it happens to two people that I care so much about. And seeing you get married today ranks as one of the greatest days of my life. I could honestly go on and on about them, but I really have to pee, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you with this, because uh, I think I'm going with me. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could all finally raise a glass to the most incredible couple. To my brother and my new sister. To Josh and Chelsea. Josh and Chelsea. Yeah, let's drink. By the way, Louis, let's go. Woo! Thank you.